This is the guide brought to you by Paradise City, a guide on Drac Theron Keep Heroic. Okay, boss number one is a humanoid called Trollgar. Uh, this is a very simple fight. Have your tank pull the boss on the stairs and then just nuke away. He has an ability to self buff himself, allowing him to deal 5% more damage, and this is going to stack, so just be aware of this. Adds will come down and attack Trollgo through this fight. He will kill them and this opens another ability for him. Um, this allows him to do something called Corpse Explode. An easy way to get around this is just to move the boss down the stairs after he has killed the Adds. This will leave enough room not to get hit by the Corpse Explosion. And these are the only things to note on this fight. In general, it's a real simple tank and spunk. Novus the Summoner is the next. You start the event by walking into the room with him in. He will then cast a bubble around himself and will damage anyone around him within 10 yards. So no one needs to be standing next to him on phase 1. Ads will start coming down the stairs. These are non-elites and will be taken down very easily by DPS. Periodically through the fight, Novus will summon elite mobs. These are in the form of castards and will come out of each corner of the room. Um, you will get a warning when these come, so tank should be at the bottom of the stairs looking out for these. Um, after killing mobs for a while, the shield will drop and you can start the fight. This is basically a, a DPS fest. He has four abilities. Frost Bolt will hit for 2.5k and slow movement by 50%. Um, Blizzard slows movement by 75% and hits around 1k damage per second. So make sure you move out of this. Wrath of Misery is a curse causing shadow damage and Arcane Blast will do 2k damage and throw the target back. This boss has no threat sense so the DPS can go wild. Uh, the next boss is King Dread. Before you pull the boss you're going to need to pull as many of the small raptors as you can. This is going to make the fight a lot more simple. He's got lots of abilities to use on this one. He's got an AoE Fear for anyone in 35 yards. A Grievous Bite. This is going to cause the target to bleed for around 1k DPS until fully healed. The healer needs to be aware of this because the quicker this is healed, the less damage will be taken overall. Piercing Slash is a high damage attack that will also reduce armor by 75%. Healer needs to watch out for this also as the tank is going to take high damage when this is active. Especially if this is followed by an ability called Menacing Claw. This is the boss's main damage attack and does around 15,000 on a tank. King Dread can also call Raptors to help. These can either be nuked down or tank can keep aggro on adds and the boss. And the group can just focus DPS on the boss. A lot of these abilities you won't notice though. You don't really have to do anything special or different from your assigned role. The final boss is Prophet of Thranja. This boss will be in two phases. The first phase of the boss will cast Shadow Bolts which do around 2000 damage and Curse of Life. This will damage the target for 50% of its health 
However, the curse will be removed if the target's health drops below 50%. When phase 2 starts, uh, it's going to be started by the boss casting a spell called Decay Flesh. Everyone will then get turned into skeletons. In this phase, you've got four abilities as a skeleton. Uh, key 1 will be a melee attack. Key 2 will be a taunt. 3 will be bone armor and will absorb damage on you. And 4 will be lifesteal doing around 2k damage and healing you for the same amount. In phase 2, Thranjar will sometimes drop an AoE under a group member. This is easily avoidable and by simply moving out of it you can avoid damage. When damaged enough, Thranjar will return into his phase 1 and from here just follow the steps um, and repeat what you've been doing until he is down. That's all for this guide. I hope it has helped you with your time inside Drakthoron Keep.